Good morning, Steve Reed with the morning grain comments. We have markets mostly lower, soybeans, soybean oil, soybean meal, wheat lower. Nearby corn has a little bit higher while new crop corn is uh, lower. Outside market stocks are higher. The dollar uh, is higher, but crude has turned lower and the precious metals are all higher. As far as the grains are concerned, I think that uh, in the bean complex, we continue to be concerned about China. Their crush margins are negative. They also are using less meal in their feed rations. And so um, the Asian uh, Dalian soybean and soybean meal futures are lower and kind of pulls down uh, soybean and meal prices here. We're also seeing a uh, crush here in the US um, for oil versus meal. And so uh, there is some concern about, you know, where that meal is going to go domestically, which offers resistance to meal prices. We're also seeing that despite problems with dock strike, uh, despite uh, problems with uh, logistics in Argentina and uh, a lockdown because of the virus, uh, Argentina meal prices are also cheaper than uh, US. We also note that in the corn market, uh, nearby corn probably sees some good demand. Basis levels are strong with ethanol coming back and the need to buy corn to finish off our export year. But the problem continues to be a new crop uh, guesses anywhere from 93 to 96 million corn acres uh, uh, planted by farmers, adding from the USDA's 91 million acres. And the weather for both corn and beans in the Midwest is pretty favorable for the next two to three weeks. We are watching to see if any ridging develops uh, later this summer, but for right now conditions are pretty favorable. Uh, we also see a little bit of dryness uh, picking up in the PNW and Northern Plains, which could help Minneapolis wheat futures. In Europe, the weather is okay. Moisture soil, moisture is okay, but it is beginning to dry a little bit. Central Ukraine, also dry, but moisture levels are good. And as far as Russia is concerned, there's a few dry spots. As far as um, the actual corn price numbers, uh, again, U.S. corn prices are like $40 premium to Black Sea feed wheat and a $50 premium uh, to Argentina. The um, U.S. Uh, hardwood winter wheat crop continues to improve, but there is a little bit too much rain in parts of the eastern sections of the hardwood winter wheat belt. Soft wheat conditions remain uh, favorable and above average, while uh, spring wheat could dry out, and the PNW white wheat is also uh, rated below average. European wheat prices are, are lower. Baltic, Germany, uh, all these prices are below U.S. Uh, FOB wheat export prices. <clears throat> so with the favorable weather, it's hard for the market to rally. Yesterday, the nearby corn had a pretty steep loss. I think it was like very technical oriented, uh, trading below support and um, just kind of losing some of the momentum the markets had uh, because of global weather and uh, the mostly favorable U.S. weather is uh, moving money out of the corn market. Um, Dalian, um, again, vegetable oil prices are higher, but Matif and Canada uh, rapeseed prices are, are lower. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.